Question number 10. The curve C has equation x equals 3 secant square 2y. Part A. Find dx upon dy in terms of y. This question got two marks. Here they want you to find the first derivative of x with respect to y. dx over dy. So when you want to differentiate this, we are going to use the chain rule. So take it as x square. 3, 3 is a constant. x square, derivative of x square is 2x. Take secant 2y as x. So derivative of 2x square is 2x times, you cannot stop here because we are applying the chain rule. So now you need to differentiate the function which was considered as x, secant 2y. When you differentiate secant 2y, it's 2 secant 2y and 2y. That's all. Simplify 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12 secant times secant secant squared 2y and 2y. That's the derivative. So here, you need to know the chain rule, how to apply the chain rule, and the derivative of secant ax. The derivative of secant ax is a secant ax tan ax. So in this case, it's 2 secant 2y tan 2y. So that's our answer, dx upon dy. Part b, show that dy upon dx equals p upon qx into square root of x minus 3, where p is irrational and q is an integer. This question got 3 marks. So here, they want you to prove this dy upon dx is this, where p is an irrational number, q is an integer. But they don't want dy upon dx in terms of y. They want it in terms of x. So what we need to do, we need to convert all these things in terms of x using this equation. So if x is 3 secant square 2y, our secant square 2y is x over 3. So you can replace the secant square 2y by x over 3. And how about tan 2y? You have to convert this tan 2y in terms of x also. So that's when we are going to use this identity secant square x minus tan square x is 1. That's one of the trigonometric identity. So now uh, find tan square x, bring it here, put the 1 here. So secant square x minus 1 is tan square x. So tan square x is square root of, tan x is square root of secant square x minus 1. So write tan 2y in terms of secant 2y. So you can replace secant, secant square 2y by this. So replace x by 2y. Tan 2y is so square root of secant square 2y minus 1. So instead of tan 2y, you can use this expression, secant square 2y minus 1, this identity. So tan 2y is secant square 2y minus 1, but we know secant square 2y is x over 3, so you can write it as x over 3 minus 1. That's it. First convert, convert everything in terms of x, and then flip both sides. Now take this, dx over dy equals 12 secant square 2y. Secant square 2y is x over 3 times tan 2y. tan 2y is square root of x over 3 minus 1. And then simplify this, this whole thing, and then flip both sides. So you will get dy upon dx in this form. So when we simplify this, it's uh, 12 upon 3 is 4x. 4x times square root of, you can write it, uh, write it as x, or x minus 3 over 3. Uh, altogether, you can write it as 4x square root of x minus 3 over square root of 3. You can split it as, uh, put the square root for both numerator and the denominator. Why I am doing this so it's easy for me to flip. So when I flip both sides, dy upon dx equals square root of 3 over 4x square root of x minus 3. Exactly like this same, where p is an irrational number, 
and q is an integer 4. That's it. So if you want to solve this, first thing, you need this uh, trigonometric identity and you need to know how to convert tan to y in terms of secant using the identity. So you can replace uh, tan 2y by square root of secant square 2y minus 1. Hot C. Find the equation of the normal to C at the point where y equals pi over 12. Giving your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. m and c are exact irrational numbers. This question got 5 marks. Now we are going to find the equation of normal at a point where the y coordinate is x upon uh, pi upon 12. So you need a point with x and y coordinate if you want to find the equation of the tangent or normal. So substitute this y in here, you can get the x coordinate. So the x coordinate is 3 secant square 2y, 2y, 2 times pi over 12. And find the value of this. You can write it as 1 over cos square. This is pi pi by 6. So you can write it as 3 over cos square pi by 6. So simplify this. That's your x coordinate. Cos pi by 6 is square root of 3 over 2. So when you square it, it's 3 over 4. So the answer is 4. So we got the point already. 4 comma pi over 12. Now, first thing we need to find the slope. So you use either dy upon dx and substitute the x coordinate here to find the slope. Or you can use dx upon dy and substitute the y coordinate here. So you will get dx upon dy and then flip it. Both will be same. So for me, I am going to use this dy upon dx. So the slope m is dy upon dx at x equals 4. So when I substitute 4 here, square root of 3 over 4 times 4 is 16. Square root of 4 minus 3 is square root of 1. This is just square root of 3 over 16. So if they want you to find the equation of the tangent, you need to use this slope. But we are trying to find the equation of the normal. So you need to take the negative reciprocal of this. So minus 1 over m is minus, flip it, 16 over root 3. That's the slope. So you can write the equation of the normal is y minus y1. y1 is the y coordinate. Equals the slope into x minus x1. Simplify this, that's the equation of the normal. So now I'm going to simplify this. y equals, bring this term also here, multiply through it by this term. Minus 16 over root 3 x plus 16 times 4 is 64 over root 3. And then bring this term also here plus pi over 12. That's it, you don't need to do anything else. Because they want you to write the equation in this form, y equals mx plus c. So mx plus this whole thing is c. 